You know, I don't want to contradict myself because I made a video yesterday and I was real high on Errol Spence. So I'm not going to sit here and backtrack on those statements and I'm not going to take away from his victory over Chris Algieri. But it seems like the big narrative now that's being pushed out there is Errol Spence being able to do to Chris Algieri what even Manny Pacquiao could not do. But let's take a deeper look into that. Now... Was this the same Chris Algieri that fought Manny Pacquiao? Not in terms of physical condition, uh, durability, because I'm not going to sit there and say Chris Algieri was shot or diminished in any way in this Errol Spence fight. But let's take a look at the way he's fought this fight and the fight against uh, Amir Khan. Now, ever since the addition of John David Jackson, we've seen Chris Algieri appear to be bigger more fulled out, and obviously that has to do with him growing into the weight class. So he looks more physically imposing than he did early on, and even when he fought Manny Pacquiao, he looks bigger in the American fight, he looked bigger in this fight. But not only that, since the addition of John David Jackson, he seems to press forward a lot more and fight in the pocket a lot more. So instead of being let out the cage, so to speak, um... He's basically in the cage. He's in. He's in the, the the danger zone. He's right in the um. He's in the kitchen. He's fighting toe to toe a lot more in the pocket than he did previously in his career, where he used a lot more of the ring, circled the ring, used a lot more movement, went in and out. This time against Errol Spence and, and in the previous fight against Amir Khan, he sat in the pocket a lot more. And obviously, when you do that, you give your opponent a lot more opportunities. So that definitely had to play a big factor in him being stopped by Errol Spence because if he did go on his bicycle, there is a good chance that he could have lasted the distance. So against Manny Pacquiao, we fully saw that he was in full survival mode once he got tagged with a few shots and went down six times. And to be quite honest, that fight could have been stopped with a different referee because when you go down six times and you have no way winning the fight a lot of referees would stop that fight and and to be fair Errol Spence didn't knock him out cold he stopped and this was a referee stoppage so that Pacquiao fight could have been a stoppage with a different referee so if Chris Algieri went into survival mode like he did against Manny Pacquiao there's a good chance he could have lasted the distance but you know it is what it is we can't Monday morning quarterback it but let's look at it for what it is this was a different type of game plan from Chris Algieri than the Manny Pacquiao fight was. And I think because of that, as I said, not to sound redundant, but that played a big factor in Aerospence getting the stoppage. So let's really look deep into it and, and, and understand why, or at least explain why, Aerospence was able to do something that Manny Pacquiao wasn't. That's just my thoughts on that, taking nothing away from Aerospence. He took what, what uh, Algeria gave him, and he, and he maximized um, the opportunity. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. you, you got to win how you have to win. And if, the, if your opponent gives you the opportunity to knock him out, then you take it because you could be knocked out later in the fight. We know how this sport works. So that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Till next time, the Beeb is out. Peace.